Hello everybody, I am back. Today I'm gonna show you how to draw Goomba. Alright, so he's kind of like a kind of like a mushroom type of character. Okay, so we're gonna start off by drawing his hair first. Alright, so kind of looking like a kind um, of he's kind. I'm going to draw him kind of like a um, hair that's kind of like uh, looking up. Alright, so I'm gonna draw the shape of the hair. Okay, as slow as possible because I think drawing like the outline is the most important part okay so now now I'm going to uh, like getting close to the shape of the Goomba okay so that's kind of like the uh, like the hair shape right there alright once you got the hair shape done which is pretty good once you got it done we can we're gonna work on drawing like the body Okay, so the body kind of like contains a second like curving line right here. All right, so it's kind of like curving it in like that. All right, so that be kind of like the body shape right there. Okay, then the, uh, that's not the body shape, that's the hair shape. Okay, and then the body is kind of like a, kind of looking like pretty similar to a kind of like a mushroom shape. Okay, so let's draw a shape of a mushroom like that all right so that be kind of like the body and then we can draw the feet all right we'll start off right here and then make a curve line down okay and then curve up and then curve in okay so make sure this line is kind of like, kind of like straight line so that be like one of the feet then another one is kind of like on the right in the front okay so about right here here gonna draw a line out and then curve down it kind of looking like a shape of a kind of looking like a uh, rock shape okay make sure you can draw those uh those feet pretty big all right now we got the basic shape let me zoom in a little okay then we can work on drawing like the eyes to make it look more uh like a character okay so we're gonna draw it kind of like a u shape right here Okay, so that means like his eyes is kind of uh, he on the game. If you play his get uh, this character, he always have an like okay, angry looking eyes. Okay, so that be the uh, that be the uh, eyebrow. Okay, so we're gonna draw his eyebrow like um, pretty angry looking like that. Okay, so that be one of the eyebrow. Then uh, this one is kind of a little bit longer. Okay, so we're gonna draw it line all the way out and then curve down like that all right and then we got to draw another line in okay so it's basically draw a kind of like a outline right here curve it down so that be not like the eyebrow okay then the next part we're going to draw the eyes okay for the eyes i'm going to use my uh just use my pencil to sketch out a circle Okay, so the circle be kind of like right here. So the uh, Goomba eye is kind of like pretty small. Okay, so make sure you don't want to draw a like for huge eyes. That's not good. Okay, so that won't look like a Goomba. If you draw a huge eyes. Okay, so this draw like an egg shaped eyes. That's not too big. Like just like that. Alright, so I'm going to use my uh, ink pen to ink over the eyes is to align and curve in okay so that's one part of the eye the next one will be kind of right, right here just in over the eyes like that all right now we got both of the eyes then for the mouth it's kind of like have an angry looking mouth right here so it'll be kind of like a triangle shape right here okay and then kind of like a then we can like draw the angry looking uh and kind of like a sad mouth right there right then we're gonna draw another triangle shape that be kind of like the uh like the teeth so be kind of like right here okay so that's kind of like the second teeth okay so it's two teeth zoom out all right the next part we can like draw the eye uh eyeball okay so be kind of like a a smaller egg shape circle right there okay and then 
when you draw the small s is equal to this a circle right shiny spot circle right there okay then this another one is kind of like right here okay so we're gonna go ahead and draw out the uh shape like that so it'll be like two circle all right now we can basically get, uh got the then uh, let's draw the bottom of the feet by drawing a kind of like a circle line right here so that we can like the bottom of the feet then we got the whole body done then we can move on to join the uh like the current okay so let's uh, use uh i'm using ink pen but you i know you guys are using a pencil so it'd be you have to push down your pencil is like pretty hard to get like pretty dark because you even need a white spot right here okay do the same thing right here draw out a circle first all right when you draw out the circle you're gonna color the side of it and leave a little white spot all right so let's color it uh, with your uh, pencil if you're using a pencil right now all right now we got two eyes uh, done okay next part we're going to uh, I'm going to switch out to my regular pencil okay we're going to start on the coloring part okay before we start let's uh, you can like go find a piece of paper that's really hard put it under the joint so when you cut it the uh, uh the color will look a lot more smooth out so it will be a lot better for the uh for the joint okay so it will look a lot more 3d all right so we're gonna put a kind of like a big shadow right here so we're gonna start off by drawing a the shadow shape first okay so just like that and then you hold the pencil like very lightly I would recommend you holding it only with three finger or four for support. Okay, so when you, then you're gonna push down the um, pencil very lightly as possible and draw kind of like a and uh, keep on drawing like a uh, circle shape. Okay, so that's how you make shadow for the character. Okay, so we're gonna do that to the whole body right here. Okay, I think you guys get the idea of this, so I'm gonna do it real quick and a time that. Alright, once you got this part on, we're gonna do about the same thing for the uh, for the hair right here. Okay, so we're gonna draw out the shape first that we're gonna cut it in. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing and draw it in line over. Okay, so it goes all the way uh, to uh, where the cheek is. Then curve down right here. So we're gonna just uh, do the same idea, just um, push down your pencil really lightly and just keep drawing like a uh, circle shape. Okay, so this the important thing for uh, shading is don't push down the pencil too hard. Okay, just push down as light as possible. Okay, I would recommend using a wooden pencil for this. Alright, we got this part done. Okay, so next part we can uh, move on to uh, the head okay so i'm gonna do the head setting mostly about right here okay so this there's a kind of like a shadow right there that's kind of like curving down connecting to it right here okay so this part is a little bit more lighter so we're gonna push down our pencil very lightly okay so i think you guys get the idea so i'm gonna do it uh do all the settings real quick and i turn up and i'll be back Alright, if you follow the uh, steps, you should get something like this. Okay, so the, in the next step, I'm going to uh, color this with uh, light brown. Okay, so using a light brown color pencil. Okay, so let me show you how to color this. So if uh, if you have that the uh, shading part, you gotta push down like extra hard because uh, it's looking like on the darker part because you have more shadow co uh, covering it because you're gonna push your uh, um, color pencil down very hard so it's kind of like as hard as you can so that's like that's my best advice on how to color the dark shadows okay for the um then the have and then the white spots right there is not that dark okay so if you want to you can like switch out to a uh just use a regular uh, brown. So
color so this one is a regular kind of kind of more of a regular dark brown so you can color it in just mix it together okay so that would be like uh, uh, pretty dark brown right there okay and then for the uh, white spot right here you can basically do the same thing but it just uh, you can uh, switch out to this lighter uh, brown right here for the uh, whiter spot okay so if you only have just one brown you have to like draw and um, try extra hard to and to separate the two colors okay so that's dark brown and regular brown and light brown right here okay so that's two colors okay when you color please make sure you um, color it in, in the shape of a circle okay once you do that the uh, the color will look a lot more smooth out like that so you will look uh, more realistic okay so and uh, let's uh, review on how to color this okay for the darker yellow use a regular brown for the white spots use a light brown all right so i think you guys get the idea so i'm gonna do it real quick and then tighten up Alright, once you got the, uh, the hair coloring done, we're going to move on to join the eyebrow. Okay, so I am using a kind of like a micro ink pen sharpie. Okay, so it's just a, it's just a sharpie. Okay, so you can like, get out a sharpie or a, a inking pen or dark pen that be uh, great if you have a, like a pen that very produce very very dark color. So you can like, use it to draw the. Uh, Eyebrow. Okay, so when you draw the eyebrow, make sure you leave a little white spot toward the end because uh, it will make, uh, make it look more like 3D if you leave a white spot that make it uh, look kind of like the uh, shadow or the shiny part right here. Okay, so as, as you can see, I leave two white spots toward the end. Alright, so once you see, uh, I use, once uh, the white spot is done, let's uh, use our pencil and and make it a little bit more darker so I'm gonna like mix in like that okay so it's uh, basically color in the white spot with your pencil like that all right so that be kind of like the uh, eyebrow okay now we're going to move on to uh, coloring the body right here so let me uh, get out a color pencil okay for the body right here I choose the tin Crayola color pencil. It's basically kind of looking like a uh, skin color pencil. Okay, if you don't have this one, you can like uh, just use one of an uh, other kind of lighter type of color pencil that's kind of like looking like a skin or that looking like a sand. Okay, so that in similar to that will be fine. Okay, so we're gonna start off uh, by coloring the uh, the shadow part first. Okay, when you color the shadow part, you make sure you want to like push down the color pencil as hard as you can okay for the shadow uh, to make it look more like a lot more darker okay so that's like pretty important and then for the lighter part you don't want to push it like as like a too hard okay so right here you can like, just basically uh, draw a little line over that's kind of looking like a shadow okay so you can like, push down this right there pretty hard okay for right here you can push down your color pencil as light as possible to this area all right so I think you guys get the idea so I'm gonna do it real quick all right next part is the feet okay if the feet is kind of like the same idea I'm gonna use our uh, pencil to draw out some shadows first okay so we are going to use the same technique as we did for the hair, just put down your um, pencil as pretty lightly, okay, to draw those uh, like uh, pretty dark shadows um, first. Okay, so we're gonna do that first, okay, on both of the feet. Okay, I think you, I hope uh, you get the idea of this. So, uh, because I'm going to uh, do a tiny on this to save time. All right, so I'm gonna do it in a 
do this uh, setting an antenna real quick. And for the last part for the feet, we're going to use a color pencil called dark brown Crayola. All right, so we're gonna uh, do the kind of the same thing right there. We're gonna start off by coloring the darkest part first. Okay, so right here and right here and right there. So, so we're gonna do it. Just uh, make sure you push down your color pencil pretty hard and just keep drawing it in a circle shape that covers the dark part. Okay, so I, uh, I think you get the idea. So I'm gonna do it real quick in a tiny nap. Okay, so once you got like the darker part of the yellow down, then last part is coming in the lighter part. Okay, for the lighter part, just push down your um, color pencil as light as you can. Okay, so to get like that uh, lighter brown out of it, just like that. Okay, so just push them very lightly and just keep sub uh, join circles, and you will get a color uh, that's like uh, pretty light brown that will fit the suit just like that. Okay. So let me uh, get it a little bit more darker so I can uh, mix in on both sides. Okay, for the bottom of the feet right here, I'm just gonna still use my, uh, uh, like the skin color, tint, stink skin color. Oh, that, that, that's not it. Okay, let me find out right here. Okay, for the bottom of the feet, so just gonna use using your skin color, just um, push down the color pencil as hard as you can. To get all the color of it so be like that all right so i think that's basically it thank you guys so much for watching how to uh how to draw gumbo so uh if you have any suggestion suggestions on improving this video or anything please leave a comment below and i'll be happy to uh, read it or make improvement in my joints okay all right so that's basically it thank you so much for watching and i'll be back with a new video as soon as possible.